Hello, everybody. I wanted to get on here and make a video because it is fruit season right now. And everyone has particular likes between different tastes of foods that they like. And different fruits are in different seasons at different times. Well, uh, here I am. I live in South Florida. And there's something called custard apples or in a custard apple family. And for me, these are my absolute favorite fruits of all the different fruits out there. And there are many different varieties of of fruits out there but these are my favorite and so much so that in my yard I make sure I have these three in there and I want to go through with them uh, with you with them right now and show you uh, my favorite uh, fruits because they're in season right now and they're they're so delicious and uh, so let me show you these so I have three fruits here first I have a guanabana also called a soursop that's a guanabana also a soursop this one is ripe ready to eat right now I'm going to eat that then I have this. This is called a sugar apple. These are the same families. This is a, so these are the same. This one's more sour. This one, they're really good for cancer, especially the soursop guanabana is very well known for cancer and most popular. This one has a lot of seeds and is much sweeter than the sugar apple. Uh, that's another one. But here's my absolute uh, favorite of all the fruits. I think this one is, is my favorite. This is, uh, white sapote white sapote all the same family uh and they go from sweet to sweeter to sour but it's not really sour uh so i'm excited i'm gonna i'm excited to show you all these as well so i'm gonna open them up now and show you uh what these look like and stuff so let's go make this happen so uh here so let's do first first let's do the big one and, and these grow bigger as well, but these are traditionally smaller here in Florida, the, the sugar apple and the white sapote. But the sour sap, this is a small one. They do grow uh, a lot bigger, but this is a, a, a much smaller one. And uh, so let's open it up here and show you what it looks like. That it is. There it is. Bam. So delicious. So delicious. And you can even eat the... The, uh, the leaves on this tree, they're really good for cancer as well. So remember, these foods are in the same family. Uh, they all look similar inside in terms of they're white with, with seeds. Some have more seeds than the other. But there it is. Uh, it's so delicious. There's a lot of juice to this. A lot of juice. It's more like a sap, like a thick juice. So that is the guanabana also known as uh, sour sap. Now they have sweet saps, but, and that's the seed. So, so that's that one. I'm gonna take another bite. It's so good. And this is good for cancer and other diseases. Mm -mm -mm. So, that's that. Let's next go to the white sapote. Open that one up. It's a white sapote. White sapote. This, it, it's, it's so good. The skin is edible on this, but, uh, mm. Sometimes people say things like, the food's to die for. I say this is to live for. <laughs> It's so good. So that's the sour sap. I mean, uh, the white sapote. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Sweeter. Much sweeter than the sour sap. And then finally, the sugar apple. I picked a bunch last night, and this one just came ripe. So you can see what it looks like. You open it up. Bam, there it is. That's the sugar apple. As you can see, they all look the same. Now, the sugar apple has many more seeds. Mm. It, it it's, tastes like sugar. It's so good. So I like to just eat it and spit out the seeds. Now, some seeds are edible, like watermelon seeds. These seeds are not. They're much bigger. The watermelon seeds. So I wouldn't think these are edible, but 
Now, some of you might be asking where you can get these particular foods if you don't live here in a tropical environment. And what makes this so great is not only does it taste so well, but I got it right from my tree, or right from local trees. I have a tree of all of these growing in my yard, but they do sell it at local international markets in every major city. They're very well-known fruits in these places. The white sapote is not as well-known. In California, it's well-known. If you're in California, you go to farmer's markets and get them. International markets, Spanish supermarkets will sell a guanabana, maybe the sugar apple. There's a place on the internet called Miami Fruit. Miami Fruit. And you can go there, you can order all of this. You can get a box of all of this from them. Miami Fruit. There's a lot of people say, hey, that looks like a great fruit. Can you send me some? No, but they can. You can go and get it from them. But I have a, a ton of this fruit right here. And this doesn't freeze as well as as let's say mangoes which i got a bunch as well i am just so amazed about how much amazing uh amazing great abundance that our creator gives us to eat and even more amazed that people just neglect it for mcdonald's and things like that crazy stuff it's insane but this just gives you another example of what i've been saying that you don't have to be bored if you're eating a, a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet or, or especially a raw food diet. This is exciting. And some people say, well, is that a lot of sugar for cancer? Look, this soursop actually is good for cancer. All of these foods are. And you got to, you know, make sure you're eating your, your, your greens. And, and, and if you overdo anything, you're overdoing it. But it's a lot harder to eat over, overeat on this than it is something unhealthy. This isn't processed white sugar. This is healthy sugar, folks. So... You know, it's, it's, there's still time left. There's still some other things in seasons. We just finished leche season and another fruit like that's in season like that is longan. And uh, longan is uh, longan's making its way next. And then dragon fruit is in season now. And I just did a video about that recently. I'm about to pick some off uh, the tree here, some dragon fruit. And then the winter fruits, you get the knee sparrows and uh, the black sapotes. <laughs> and jackfruit's coming next. Jackfruit tastes like candy. It goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> Uh, it's too good. It's too good to be true. Life is too good to be true. I mean, yes, listen, if you're eating McDonald's, food produced, and the mascot of that food is a clown versus food produced of our creator, these fruits and vegetables, I mean, what do you expect, folks? Right? What do you expect? If you're eating food like this, that look how amazing this food looks, versus Something like a, a, a dead carcass. What do you expect? What do you expect? This is life. This is life we picked right off the tree. Look, they say the food looks like what it's good for, right? So you eat an avocado. It looks like the, the womb with a baby inside. So it's good for the oil is good for, for pregnant women. You eat celery. It's long. It's good for the bones. Walnuts are good for the brain. What does a Twinkie look like? It looks like a coffin. The food looks like what it's good for, folks. Do you get it? So, I'm going to finish here eating these fruits again. These are in the custard apple family. We have, we have a sour sap, we have sugar apple, and we have white sapote. Uh, check them out. There's more fruits uh, I'm here introducing you to, and I'm going to continue to do so. I'm just showing you how exciting this type of diet can be to eat. All right? Uh, until then, everybody, have a great day and a great world life. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Right? This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life.